Sam Mack is in Sydney checking out the brand new IMAX. Yeah, good morning team. Uh, welcome to a very exciting addition to Darling Harbour. We've been talking about this a little bit on the show, but we're going to take you inside today for the official tour. IMAX Sydney, it only opened on the 11th of October. It's been closed since 2016. It's back, it's bigger and better than ever. It's the fourth largest screen in the world. 693 square metres, 325 seats in there. We're going to take you on a tour. You're going to love it this morning, but let's do an early check of your weather. They have private boxes in there, guys, almost like a corporate box. There's a special couple seats. So there's so many different elements to it. IMAX Sydney, it's open again. It's bigger and better than ever. So can't wait to take you inside in the W Hotel. We're going to check it out through this morning. 690 square metres of screen. That sounds <laughs> We've driven past this for years, now mm. we know what's actually happening. Thank you, Sam. Fantastic. Let's get today's weather. Sam Mack is in Sydney. Speaking of big, checking out the brand new IMAX. Absolutely, Sherbo. We're going to go in there and show you all, uh, you know, the exclusive look at this amazing setup to see a movie. Prakash, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Tell us some of the stats here. So, people, before we go in there, they yep. get a sense of how big this thing is. Yeah, so we opened on the 11th of October. Yep. Um, a massive screen, one of the biggest screens in the world at a massive 693 square metres. Wow. Yep, so we've had thousands of customers through the doors um, in only a couple of weeks. And what's popular at the moment? What are people rushing in to see? Yeah, so it's definitely Oppenheimer on the big screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, as well as Taylor Swift's The Era's Tour. Taylor Swift. Has been selling out all weekend for you us. You had a little bit of a look at that. Is it like you're there? Is it that kind of energy? Absolutely. Fully immersive, and it's though you're there at the concert. Well, we're going to check yep. that out a little later on, but let's talk food, which is a huge yes. part of any of cinematic experience. Uh, what's the biggest seller here? It's, it's the popcorn, right? Popcorn so it's the, uh, classic. it's the classic salted popcorn, yeah. which we've sold over half a tonne of popcorn really? in the opening two wow. weeks. Yeah. yeah, so it's been huge. And if we look over here, the, uh, the frozen Coke's very popular as well. Oh, is yeah. that the best-selling drink? Yeah, frozen Coke drinks, and then you've obviously got your normal Cokes as well. So a huge variety here as well. I like to go popcorn and then put some uh, peanut M&Ms in the popcorn. Oh, yeah. Some say controversial. Yeah. What are you uh, going definitely going crispy, crispy over, the, really? over the peanut, okay. definitely. Yeah. What are you guys in the studio, what are you going with for a movie snack? Yeah, definitely uh, popcorn Maltesers in there. Yeah, and like you, know what, you know what I really like? Good combo. Crushed yeah. up salt and vinegar chips, <laughs> and you put them in there and you get a little burst of that vinegary. That is yeah. a lot of effort to go oh, yes. to in one movie I don't, session. I don't, think, yeah. I don't think any of this is approved by Sarah DiLorenzo, so we're going to have to no. stop that conversation nah, she's not right up now. Yet. But in a moment, we're going, to take <laughs> you back. we're going to take you back there, but let's do your weather first. <laughs> Very special job this morning. Thank you for taking us back here. What am I doing, Prakash? So you've got a really important job. I need you to start shoveling the popcorn in because we're about to open the doors for the customers. Oh yeah. So you take okay. that. I'll take the microphone. Thankfully, the human emoji hat yeah. always travels with the latex glove. Thank you, yeah. which he just handed me. Okay, we got the, so just scooping, are we? Absolutely, yes. Yep. Okay, straight in there like this. Yes. How's my technique? Even you can do yeah, that. Good, but oh, it's it a needs to be yeah. yeah. This is my fallback years. career. If things don't work out in TV, you've got to have something else to do, right? Yeah. And how? Tell me oh, when it's good. too full. Is that about the right amount oh, there? Overflowing a bit, a bit more? more. Yeah, yeah. Overflowing. generous. Oh, generous yeah. pour. Nice. And that is ready to go. That's ready to go. I'll give that to you. You're there the boss. Go. Thank you. Good morning, ladies. Thank you for having us here this morning. Uh, how exciting is this? The smell. Oh, it takes you back. Oh, yeah. You must we have a lot of first dates in here. Bar. Plenty. Oh, yeah. Thousands yeah. a week. Yeah. Thousands of first dates yeah. a week. Absolutely. Most, not you personally. Not me, myself. You're very happily married. Yes. Um, but successful? Yes, absolutely. Oh, how can it not be? You got that. Uh, Prakash, for comments on the IMAX, thank you so much for sharing with us, my friend. We're going to be back with more in half an hour, and we'll take you in there. <laughs> That's good. That was very That's good, good. play on there. Very early for that. Let's, let's get a weather check. Sam Max in Sydney checking out the brand new IMAX. Yeah, it's time, Nat. Let's take a look inside. It's only been open for about a month or so. As we mentioned before, 693 square metres. Prepare to have your mind blown. Look at the size Whoa. of that thing. So Wonka, That's this big. is the uh, premiere, the, uh, the oh. little teaser trailer for Wonka, which is coming soon to uh, cinemas here, IMAX Sydney. But this place, it just really gets you excited to get back to the movies. As we mentioned before, it's the fourth largest screen in the world. The other three screens that are larger are all at Larry Ender's Holiday Houses, <laughs> which is pretty impressive as well for Larry. But wow, this is just mind-blowing. In a moment, we're going to chat to Luke, who is the Director of Entertainment. He's going to tell us all about it and why you need to get out and see something with this mammoth screen. But let's do your weather. Luke, you are the Director of Entertainment. Uh, good morning, mate. Congratulations on this. Tell us about this experience. Look, it, this thing is six storeys high. We've got four seat types. It is the, one of the greatest IMAXs in the world. I'm convinced of it. 
this is just, I mean, you kind of get um, sidetracked. Like, I'm trying to listen to you chat, but you're just drawn to this enormous screen. That is the trailer for uh, Aquaman 2, which is coming soon. Um, talk us through the seating, because this is super comfy. It's, it's almost like it's all gold class. Yeah, look, we've done a lot of research on seats. I am a seat expert these days. <laughs> these, we are four seat types. We've got a very plush normal seat, and then we've got these recliners. We've got a massive twin recliner at the back yeah. and then we've got the box the private box oh. so you've got the buttons on the side twin if you recliner. want to really stretch I mean, back and get relaxed absolutely this is all about chairs. comfort not that i'd know what flying business is like but guys i imagine it's what you guys mm. get when you go to perth Sam. Um, for telethon oh, yeah right. hey listen uh, in the old days when imax started there were only specific films put on yeah. can you see any film at yeah up that's there? a great question oh, can you see anything or is it only selected films with this experience well look, we do a lot of films in here we have uh IMAX, films made for IMAX and they are incredible and then there are films that we convert to IMAX as well so we've got a lot of films coming out like that as well. And in your opinion where is the best seat in the house? They're all great but They're if you had to great. choose one. Mine middle back in middle the recliner. Back, yep. I agree. Yep. I feel this is cool but I don't want to be like looking up too much the whole time. I don't, I don't want to see up um, whatever his name Jason White's na nasal passage. I don't want to see that from this angle yeah. but I mean it's a great nasal passage. Yeah. Um, congratulations. This is so exciting. It's getting me pumped to want to go back to the movies. Absolutely. We want everyone to come back and experience yeah. this. How good is this, team? We'll show you more a little later on. Yeah, this is great. What a, what a good way of I did it notice felt. on opening day, Top Gun was showing. Oh! Good one. That, that, that would, that would be, be good. Heaven, yeah, at that IMAX. is one you'd want to see, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, right I know. There. I've got the perfect film for you. Risky Business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. More on that later if you didn't see our opening today. Let's get today's weather. Sam Mack is in Sydney checking out the brand new IMAX. It is epic. We're going to take you back inside there soon, Sherbo. IMAX Sydney opened on the 11th of October. Fourth largest screen in the world. Uh, it's an absolute experience, a cinematic experience. We're delighted to share it with you this morning. More in there soon, but let's do your weather. We'll be back with more in half an hour, but for now, it's over to you, Nat. Thank you, Sam. Let's get a weather check, Sam Max in Sydney. <laughs> Checking out the brand new IMAX, which looks amazing. Yeah, it's really exciting, isn't it, Nat? It's obviously been closed since 2016. It's back bigger and better than ever. Fourth largest screen in the world. We're here with Paul in the projection room, which is like master control. We want to take you on the full tour today. Good morning, mate. Morning. How you on? They are projector, dual, IMAX. They talk to each other, 3D, yes. all the vibes. All of it. So it's a dual laser 4K projector. That's what I was going to say. And that's the umbilical cord. <laughs> umbilical. No cutting that one. Do not cut. Um, so this is amazing. So they talk to each other. They to do. give us that amazingly clear um, picture. Yep. Um, tell us the level of what we're seeing here. Obviously, people have been to the movies before. Why is this worth experiencing? Well, the two projectors alone just create the most, like, impossible, amazing image that you could see on, on any screen ever. Like, these are the best projectors you're going to get. That's the best image you're going to get. They weigh a ton each, a literally ton each. a ton. So two Correct. tons over there. And over here, that's your uh, sound deck, all the audio. All the audio. We have an amazing IMAX audio system, which is second to none. It's amazing. In a moment, we're going to show you a little bit of the pictures through the window. We're going to press play. We've got the power to press play. Uh, but do your weather first. We can see through there, the, the seats are all below us, but there is the screen, uh, 693 square metres. Over here is where you control it from, where you start the movie. From right here. So, so we can press play and we're going to see, what is this movie you've got under the This moment? is Super Powered Dogs, one of the IMAX documentaries. And this is Dogs with Incredible Jobs. Correct, yeah. And Spectacular, and it was yeah. shot specifically for Specifically IMAX. for IMAX. Okay, pressing play. Hit it. Here we go, and look at this. We're going to see the close-ups. Now that, when you're in the cinema, will be amazing. The sound, yeah. the oh, pictures. It's mind-blowing. That's yeah. the only word for it. So they shot it specifically for IMAX. Correct. Oh. So that's full IMAX format. Looks amazing. Sounds amazing. You're not going to get better. Now, one more thing before we go. We are talking about, you know, this is mind-blowing. Very impressive. But... He's very professional. However, I did get out of him just before this segment. He once plugged his PlayStation in through no. this system and played which game? Assassin's Creed. But <laughs> Could you imagine no. playing Assassin's Creed with that? No, um, no. Anyway, I don't think his management know that, cool. but they do yeah. now. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> what, what uh, wasn't you? on a work day, I'm sure. Had to be done. Yeah, exactly. Broken on, the on the weekend. weekend. Well done, mate. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, good. Today's weather. Sam Mack is in Sydney taking movies to the max today. We sure are. This is so impressive. Uh, if we spin around, have a look at this. This is the fourth largest screen in the world. Uh, Tay Tay is standing by because we've got an important chat about dumplings first. We'll get to you in a moment, Taylor. Uh, let's have a chat with Claire, head of content. Good morning. Good morning, Sam. Really lovely to see you. This is such a, a deluxe way to experience the movies. Tell us about this setup we have right here. Well, this is the private box, and you Ooh. and three friends can have this for your 
perfect cinema experience. It's the ultimate indulgement in watching any sort of film or content or concert. And as you can see, we have all this delicious food. You can have a drink, mm. you can have popcorn, you can have whatever your heart desires. It's all there. Of course, you've got classic popcorn, but as we mentioned, you've got chicken wings, macarons, you've got uh, dumplings, uh, chips. There's, you've got a blankie if you need your blankie. You've really oh, thought of everything here. In a moment, I want to talk about your job, though. You see around 300 movies a year. What a job as head of content. We'll talk more about that after your weather. On track to see 300 movies this year. Tell us how that is part of your job. Yeah. So basically, um, me and my team, not just me in isolation, we um, decide what films are going to show in which of the event cinemas. And in order to sort of get a feel for the different areas and different demographics, we watch a lot of films just to make the decisions about how many sessions, how much yeah. box office they're going to take. Um, it's a pretty cool job and I've got a pretty great team. Absolutely. Best movie you've seen this year? Oh my God. Like, why do you have to ask that? <laughs> oh. I will tell you, I'm really looking forward to Ridley Scott's Napoleon, okay. which Ooh. is going to be an IMAX film. Yeah. Oh. So that's my, probably my most highly anticipated. It's bad news for Tay Tay, <laughs> who's standing by watching over us right now. Well, the Taylor Swift, absolutely, I have enjoyed. Like, well, we're going to have a little look at it right now. Here's a little teaser, guys. This oh. is a little taste of the action. You can come and see Taylor Swift eras, the tour, the three hours almost here enormous uh, screen the sound is incredible it's yeah. almost like being there if you're one of those millions of people who missed out on tickets uh, I think that's all we're allowed to show for copyright reasons though so back to you in the studio right. yeah. <laughs> you, you kind of miss the vibe you, when yeah it's you've got to go through right? a TV yeah. yeah so it was the box is Sam and three friends mm. Mm. who misses out yeah I fall asleep in movies yeah. so I just <laughs> I'll stay home Fair <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Okay, let's get a weather check. Sam Mack is in Sydney uh, checking out the brand new IMAX. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. It's just over there here at uh, the W Hotel in Darling Harbour. A big thank you to the team for showing us around there today. 693 square metres. That's the screen. Fourth largest screen in the world. So if you've been thinking about going to see something at the movies for a little while, this is the place to do it. Uh, big thank you again to the team at IMAX Sydney. Let's do your weather. You guys are often saying to me that, Sam, you know, we feel like you've peaked, you know, how much further yeah. can you go with your career, which yeah, I really yeah. appreciate yeah, as yeah. feedback, so guys. Mm -hmm. You're always on about that. Um, but I feel like we need to challenge ourselves to truly improve. So tomorrow <laughs> is a challenge day where I know nothing oh, about yes. the challenges. Oh, Every yeah, half hour, you guys will throw something. This is where Good. you guys team up with my evil producer, the yeah. human emoji. Uh -huh. So can yeah, you give yeah, me any yeah. clue as to what's on the horizon tomorrow? No, oh, it's just going to uh, hurt. Be ready it. for anything. Yeah. OK. Sounds Expects like a good one. Unexpected. You haven't read the run sheet, have you? Mm. No, it's going to be fun, guys. We'll see you there tomorrow. Um, sucked in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bring it on. Bring it on. No, 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 no. OK, see you, Sam. Bye.